You might have seen cricket players today with great physiques, rippling abs, and that next level power. Now, it's not all for show, and there is a specific purpose to the exercises and all the stuff the players do in the gym to make you a better player. And that is what we have for you today. In today's session, we're gonna be looking at your power development for cricket. So we're gonna hit four different exercises targeting each facet of your power development. So first up, we're gonna do a base strength exercise, then a strength speed exercise, a speed strength exercise, and then to finish a speed exercise. As we're going through each exercise, I'll explain what that all means and why we're doing them. But let's get on to the first exercise. For the first exercise, we are going to be using a pull-up and this is the strength piece. So we're going to be doing five sets of three reps. As you can see, I'm using a weight here. So if you want to progress in this, sort of keep your reps the same. We're going to be aiming all the time between one and five reps and the progress should be adding weight or moving forward from where you currently are. So for some people, this may be doing the pull-ups without any weight or you can scale it back again and do a pull-up, say you can use a band running across the rig where you can see sort of the J hooks here on the rig. You can put a band across it to assist you in the pull-up and the progress then would be get to a body weight pull-up. Moving on next then to our strength speed exercise, we're going to be using a power jerk or a push jerk. As you can see here, the velocity has gone up, but the weight is still sort of considerably heavy. For this exercise, we're going to be keeping the volume relatively low. So we're going to be doing three sets of five reps. Again, the reps are low, but everything is in the intention of the exercise. You're looking to move as quickly as you can every rep. As you can see here, I'm going from one rep straight into the dip on the next rep. If you're not comfortable with this or you're new to the movement, I'm going to show you here that you can just stop at the shoulder at every rep. Like I said, the most important part of the movement is the concentric part of the movement going up. So if you are not comfortable going into each rep, just take a minute, pause and put all the intention in the most important part of the movement. And now we're going to be moving on to our speed strength exercise. So now the weight is relatively light. So it's just a nine kilo med ball I'm using here, but the velocity is going up again. Again, with the progressions of this, you can use gradually a heavier, heavier uh, med ball, but you never want to lose the speed in these. Um, we are going to be doing three sets of five again with these, but all five reps should be at the same velocity. So if you're measuring the speed of this, you want them all to be the same. So never get to a point where you're feeling very fatigued at the end of this set. I'm going to say it again, but the most important part of this is the intention of each of the reps. So finally, then we have got our speed exercise. So again, we're going to be doing three sets of five, and this is an inverted row. So as you can see now, we are down to just our body weight being the limiting factor here or the resistance and our velocity is gonna be as high as it has been. As with every other exercise, the intention here is to move as quickly as you can, a bit of a control on the eccentric, and then explore as fast as you can into the bar. And then this will be the last exercise to finish off the session. So that was that full power session right there for your upper body. And if you're looking for another upper body power session, go and check out this video here. And if you're looking for some more training tips, we have a free ebook and I'll chuck that in the description below. And as ever, check this video a like and subscribe to check out more videos like this.